the past months and weeks, all that we talked about was coronavirus-19. And until now, people are talking about it. They said many people have died because of that virus. People have been anxious, afraid of what's going to happen with regards to this virus that we are facing. Most people have died, others have recovered. But the question is, until when is this going to be? Watching the news makes us even more anxious and afraid. That is why I refrain myself from watching the news because it's all negative. It only brings havoc, chaos in our minds and in our hearts. Doctors, nurses, rich people, middle class people, and the poorest of the poor have been have been tested positive of coronavirus 19 so it had me think about the situation right now what if this happens to me what if i have covid 19 i don't want to die like this. i don't want to die alone i don't want my family to be stigmatized so i always pray to the lord kneel before him and ask him this is not the way that i should go although i know that in my heart of hearts i know where i'm going, I'm going i know i'm going to be with christ our lord jesus christ but i am not ready there are still many things i would like to do there's still a lot of things i would like to reach there's still a lot of things that i need to manage and i'm afraid i have been tremendously affected by the many deaths especially those of our frontliners. I think to myself, what about those who are not rich? What will happen to them? How can they get tested? While the others, the rich people, the middle, middle class, they get tested. There is no certainty in this life, whether you're rich or you're poor. If you get infected, that's a different story. It hurts and it's gonna be devastating because you will die alone, suffer alone, and die alone. I decided I don't want to hear any more deaths. I don't want to hear any more COVID-19 people have died from this virus because it consumes me. It affects me so much that the past days I have heard a lot, a lot of people are dying, a lot of people are suffering in this day and age sana matapos na lang ito and I've been praying to God that this should end it is by His might and power nothing is impossible with God people's lives have been affected tremendously we are in a lockdown where one should not leave the house and just stay at home and have self quarantine for the sake of us and for the sake of those we encounter all hospitals here in the in the philippines especially in greater metro manila are full they don't know where to put those who have been positive for covid 19 test and i just don't know what's going to happen really i am, I am troubled my father is 82 years old and we don't want him to get sick not even a simple flu because we can we cannot we cannot afford to bring him to the hospital not because of money but because he's a senior citizen already if he goes to the hospital we're afraid that he might get infected by the virus and even my mother i don't want her to go out i don't want her to get sick even a simple flu because we cannot afford that they go to the hospital and be there and be infected with this coronavirus. Besides, all the hospitals here are full already, so we don't know where to go, what to do. But just to pray, to pray to the Lord to spare us from COVID-19 virus. I have anxiety disorder, also known as panic disorder. 
and I have been taking my medication, my maintenance for quite a long, long time already. And I never had panic attacks after having taken my medications. But because of the news about the deaths of a lot of people, the other day I had my panic attack. I took my medicines right away because I was so afraid. I felt that I couldn't breathe. I felt that I was gonna die. And so I took my medicines. I took a double dose of my medicines to feel better and after 20 minutes I felt better but I said to my family I don't want to hear anything about deaths about people dying because of COVID-19 I want to think positive and look forward to a better place a better circumstance looking forward to wonderful awesome things that God will bring us and now I don't want to speak anymore about this virus because I know the Filipinos are resilient. This pandemic, this contagion will soon end. By the grace and mercy of God, I believe in my heart of hearts that everyone will be better, everyone will feel better, everyone will be healed. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please subscribe to my channel as all think positive, live happily, and joyfully peacefully as well and sub subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button